Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. I am Bala Ranganath. In this session, we're going to see our first Tag UI flow, how to create Tag UI flow, how to execute Tag UI flow, and some tips and tricks. Let's jump into it. To create Tag UI flow, all you need is just a notepad. In my case, I'll be using Notepad++ stated earlier. So start your Notepad++, click on start, and I'm going to just place it in the corner so that we can have a better view and I'm gonna write a first flow. To, to output anything in tag UI on a console, we have a keyword called echo. So echo is a step which will display things in a console. And we're gonna say customary hello world. And we're gonna just save it. So save. So when you're saving it, you should save it with dot tag as an extension so i'm going to store this one in a tag ui flow folder and i'm going to say tag hello world dot tag and hit save so now you see it has been saved with the dot dot tag so now we have created a first flow now let's see how to execute them to exe execute them fire your command prompt or start your command prompt to start your command prompt go to start menu in the start menu you have a scroll down or find a window systems and in the window systems you have command prompt click on command prompt and command prompt should open and uh, so you have a command prompt here so in the command prompt, go to the location where you have stored um, your tag UI hello world program. So in my case, I have stored it in a tag UI flow folder. So let's search for it, CD tag UI flows and hit enter. And uh, let's check for the program we have or check for the flow. We have hello world flow. To execute, uh, to execute, just type tag UI and provide the file name. So when you provide them, hit enter. So when you hit enter, uh, it automatically launches a Chrome browser and uh, executes your command. Tag UI requires Chrome browser uh, for executing their uh, instructions or keywords, pro processing it. Uh, we'll see it in advanced topics uh, about how it gets executed, but at this particular point of time, so once you execute it, you should see an hello world. So now we have updated and hello world. Uh, let's see if you can able to update it and re-execute them back. So let's go back to our code and then say echo first flow of tag UI and save and say yes and click uh, one, go back again and you should find these two updated lines back in there when you re-execute them so click hit enter it should open a chrome box uh, and you can see that's being executed if you if you notice each time when I run this um, a Chrome browser gets launched. It's just to print in the console, like Chrome browser being launched. It, it's a little kind of annoying. To hide that or to run the tag UI flow in a hidden mode, we have a suffix called hyphen headless or hyphen h. So you can give a hyphen along with your flow name. So say tag UI and you provide your flow name and then provide space and say minus H and hit enter. When you hit enter, you won't see the Chrome being launched, but you see the flow has been started and then flow is being updated. So you can also say the same thing or define the same thing with hyphen headless and it should work exactly the same way. 
So this concludes today's session. We have seen how to create our first Hello World program, how to update it, how to save it, and how to execute them, and a couple of tips to execute it in a headless mode. So these are the things we have seen in this session. Next session, we are going to see how to take input from a user. Thanks for watching.